hope you guys enjoyed that double dose of Dean. Let's go back to the phones where Wayne is calling from Winter Garden. Go ahead, Wayne. Uh, good afternoon. Um, now, I've got a 2012 Firelock SRS that I've been having some early work done on, and they indicated that my battery is leaking, I need to replace that, as well as the terminal cables. And I just wanted to know, is that something that do, the shopper could do, or should I leave it to the professionals? Well, uh, Wayne, it's kind of like this. Um... When it comes to battery terminals nowadays, a lot of them are integrated into the wiring harnesses. Uh, it, it's not like the old days, you know, you could just cut the end off and put a put an end on it. But now we do have um, some pretty sophisticated repair terminals that we use nowadays. See, a lot of the battery terminals that go to your battery posts are they actually have sensors in them that can tell the car if there is a low voltage situation with the battery. Uh, so a lot of cars can actually diagnose a, a battery going bad before it goes completely bad. And so we're talking about something a whole lot more sophisticated than just an old lead <laughs> battery terminal like they used years ago. Um, but you know, a lot of those can be replaced, but in order to do it, um, like I said, you would have to probably take a uh, an eyelet, uh, you know, a, a terminal end, and, and cut your old one off and put an eyelet on there to where it's something that you could physically bolt to a new terminal assembly itself. And the reason that I bring that up is is because some of these cars, if you don't do that, you got to replace pretty much the wiring harness to replace a battery cable. And, you know, I mean, this could run into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars over a bad connect, you know, over a bad connection situation. And uh, that's the reason that most of them can be, if they're long enough, most of them can be repaired. Uh, but they've got to be repaired in a correct manner or the computer system of the vehicle will pick up that, you know, the battery sensor's not there no more. Um, and usually these battery terminals and stuff like that, they deteriorate and they, and they start, you know, going bad because of a battery leaking acid out of it. So anytime you see, you know, corrosion actually uh, starting and, and being created on a battery terminal, th that's due to a battery leaking acid out of it. It's no longer sealed properly. So when you, when you, we get that acid starting to seep out of the battery, it'll eat a terminal completely up. And like I said, the downside is is the, the wiring harness that it's connected to. Um, and a lot of the dealers see, th they don't they don't fix stuff you know i mean i don't i don't mean that in a bad way but they don't fix anything they, they replace stuff you know so instead of you know somebody coming in there and spending a little bit of time on repairing a, a battery terminal in of course you're going to get a, a price quote for a a wiring harness and you know so the difference between that is you know 150 bucks versus two thousand dollars for a battery terminal so th those are the types of things that happen between independent shops and your local dealers so you know independents fix stuff you know lots of stuff dealers replace everything if it needs another one they're going to replace it they, they rarely do any internal engine work they replace every, it, it could be anything inside of a motor they're going to replace it you're going to get a price on replacing it as opposed to new time and chain gears and water pump like we do on three five you know front wheel drive ford engines every every day of our life you know where a, a dealer will wind up wanting to replace the whole entire engine and it's not cost effective so customer decides not to fix the car we don't want people to do that. We want them to fix their car. So we, we fix stuff <laughs> is basically how it turns out. Hey, Wayne, listen, if, 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 if it looks like it's something that you can do yourself, have at it. Uh, just make sure it's done in a professional manner and, and safe, and uh, you shouldn't have any problems with it. If it's something that looks like it can be challenging because it's got so many wires going to it, well, it could still be fixed without replacing the whole entire harness, but you might want to give us a holler at Magic Mechanic. I appreciate your call, and I appreciate you holding on. Have a great weekend.